Alright. Okay, coming in at number seven on the list is going to be Mario Party 5. Now, I'm a big Mario Party fan. I've been pretty much my whole entire gaming life. And after 7, I've stopped getting into the series, but Mario Party 5 is by far my favorite in the series. And, uh, just really fun game to check out, guys. I've spent so many hours on this Mario Party morning. I have 6, 4, or 7. And, I gotta say, this one just had the best mini games, the best final Bowser fight, uh, for a Mario Party game. And the board games were really fun. And this game, and this uh, Mario Party has my favorite game of all time in the Mario Party mini games. Uh, the one where you gotta catch ice cream. I have no idea why that's my favorite. I just absolutely love that mini game though. But really fun game to play with your friends. I'd highly recommend Mario Party 5 to anyone who has a GameCube. So number 7 comes to Mario Party 5. Alright, moving on up on the list is going to be number 6. Kirby Air Ride. Now this game was probably the third game I got on my GameCube, um, and I gotta say, I played this game like crazy, cause I am a big Kirby fan, and this one probably be my second to third favorite Kirby game of all time. With Kirby's Epic Yarn coming out later this year, or early 2011, I can't wait to pick it up. Kirby hasn't been on the home console in seven years. This game came out in 2003, and I gotta tell you guys, it was worth every penny. And I highly recommend it to anyone who loves the uh, pink blob. But you know, there's a, the game does get a little bit boring after a while. But I've unlocked pretty much every single thing in this entire game, and has just so much fun stuff of racing. I really didn't get to play the multiplayer that much in it, but still, a very fun Kirby game. And so I think I kind of went past this, but anyway, number six goes to Kirby Air Ride for being one of my all-time favorite racing games, and I just really love Kirby. So moving on. Okay, now we're on to the top five. Number five is Luigi's Mansion. Now, you guys, again, already know how I feel about this game when I did the LP of it, and I really think this game is underrated more than anything else, because this game was just so much fun, and... It definitely is worthy of Luigi having his own game, and really, really fun to play. Uh, despite some parts being able to scare you if you're a little kid, but not anymore. Really, this game does not creep you out in the slightest. But, you know, Luigi's Mansion is a really good game to pick up if you're looking for a new type of Mario game to experience. Go with Luigi's Mansion. You're in for a good time. And collecting treasure could not be any more fun than in this game. So, number five goes to Luigi's Mansion for just being an awesome title. So, let's leave it at that. Number five. Okay, now we've reached number four. Number four is going to be Super Smash Brothers Melee! With a lineup of characters that I absolutely love, and just overall, really a fun game, I gotta put Super Smash Brothers Melee on top on the list because I have just put so many hours in this game. It's hilarious. Um, this game, I uh, don't think I ever did beat it with all the trophies on it, but I did unlock all the characters and everything. Thank you, versus mode. Uh, but anyway, this game was definitely worth the buy when I got it. I think this was the second GameCube game I got. I remember back before I got my GameCube, I saw this and I was kind of skeptical of it at first because the characters seemed to move too fast. But, you know, I know that's really stupid, but I was young back then, but anyway. Number four goes to Super Smash Brothers Melee for being just such an awesome, awesome fighter. Possibly my second favorite fighter. I actually kind of like this a little bit more than Brawl, but whatever. Number four, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Okay, coming in at the top three. Number three is Star Fox Assault. Now this game is what got me into third person shooters and Star Fox. The voice acting was very excellent and the guns were so fun to use, story was amazing, music was good, graphics amazing, anything about this game I can come out by saying would just be nitpicks for me, and just, even the multiplayer was so fun. I mean, I have just unlocked about every single thing in this game. The sad thing is, I've lost the disc to this, and I swear to god, if I can find the disc or buy a new copy, I will definitely do a let's play of this game. This game is definitely worthy to have on the GameCube. And I'd highly recommend this to anybody who loves Star Fox or third-person shooters. So Star Fox Assault, 
number three. Okay, now we've reached the last two here, and number two is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now, I've already LP'd this game, so I've also given my thoughts on it as well. So, there's really nothing else for me to say about this game. Despite it being a Dreamcast port, pretty much, with updated stuff, it was still a very fun game to play. And voice actors were really good, I still prefer Japanese. The story really good, the music really good, fun stages, fun characters to use. Despite some later on being a complete pain in the butt, I still love this game. And this still remains as my favorite Sonic game ever, but, you know, whatever. Sonic Adventure 2, really great game, pick it up if you haven't, number 2. So, now let's go to number 1. Okay, here it is, number 1, without a shadow of a doubt, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Not only is this my favorite GameCube game, this is my favorite Zelda game, and my favorite game of all time. Pretty much because everything about this game from this trailer that I'm showing, the one that absolutely made me go crazy over this game, delivered everything I was looking forward to, and more, everything about this game, anything to say about would be coming off as nitpicks. Some people debate whether this game should be considered good or not. I, for one, love this game to death. Characters were well developed, and just Hyrule blew my mind. Everything about this game was just so incredibly epic. I don't, I can't describe another game like this that's, in my opinion, completely perfect and has one very dark story for Zelda. I freaking love this game to death. I hope the God Skyward Sword can top this one, um, but we'll see. But anyway, number one goes to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for being just such a freaking awesome game. Hope you guys enjoyed my top 15 GameCube games, and I will see you in the future with more top 10s, or top 15s, top 5s, and more Let's Plays. This is me, Rocky Dog 200 signing off. See you guys later. Bye-bye.